activities for our All About Me subject. We will be talking more about nature around us and the things that surround us. I hope that you will find the activities exciting and enjoyable. Have a nice day! Our topic for today is all about communication tools. Communication is the act of sending or receiving information. To send or to receive a message or information, we need some tools or media like a cell phone, a telephone, a newspaper, a TV, a computer, a radio, or a letter. On page 21 of your book, what you are going to do is to look for all the communication tools and color them. So here is your activity. Okay, it's on page 21 of your All About Me book. So what are we going to do? Color the pictures of communication tools. So as we have said, communication tools are things that we use to receive and send messages. So from this picture, what are the communication tools that we see? Okay, let's start with this one. This is a radio. So this is a communication tool. Color the radio. How about this one? A computer. A computer is also a communication tool. So you also have to color the computer. We also have here a cell phone. If we want to talk to daddy or mommy, we often use a cell phone, especially if they are at work. So color also the cell phone. We also have here a telephone. A telephone is also a communication tool. So you also have to color it. These ones are letters. Letters are also communication tools, so you also have to color them. Hey, okay, how about this one? Very good, a TV set. So from the TV, we can receive information. We are able to know what is happening around us by watching news on TV. So you also have to color this one. In here, we also have a newspaper. Okay, this newspaper is what daddy or mommy reads for them to know what is happening or for them to get information about something. So don't forget, you have to color all the communication tools that you can see from this picture. Now, if you are finished, you can turn your book on page 22 for our next activity. <clears throat> okay, so we have here an envelope. Okay, so this one is an envelope. Okay, so we use an envelope if we are going to send a letter to someone else. <clears throat> so we usually write a letter to inform or to tell someone something or some information. And if we are going to send a letter, we have to put it in an envelope. So this is an envelope. In an envelope, we can see the name of the sender. So this is the name of the sender, the address of the sender together with the zip code. <clears throat> this one here is the stamp. And in here, what you are going to do is to write the name of the recipient <clears throat> or who is going to receive the letter. If you are going to send that letter to your friend, you have to write the name of your friend here. You also have to write the address, like the house number, the road, the sub-district, and the district. And of course, the province and the, and the zip code. 
So like for example, your name or the name of your friend is Lisa. Then you are going to write here Lisa. And then for the address, you can write here the house number. Let's say the house number is 33 and the road is Ektaxi. So you have to write here Ektaxi. Okay, the sub district is <coughs> Lakpo. And the district is Mong Ek. The province is Patong Thani. And then here you have to write the zip code. Okay, I hope you, you will know what to do when writing a letter or <coughs> sending a letter. So for our next activity, it's on page 23. In here, you are going to cut and paste in the box the matching pictures of communication tools. So what are our communication tools? We have here a <coughs> telephone, a letter, Okay, we have here an envelope. The letter is inside it. And we also have here a computer set. <clears throat> In here, we have an address. So this one is an address. So what communication tool matches this one? Is it the telephone, the envelope, or the letter inside an envelope, or the computer set? <clears throat> Good job. It is the envelope. So what you are going to do is cut this one and paste it on the box here. So remember, in an envelope, you have to write the address of your recipient and also your address. Okay, here we have a telephone number. So which tool should have a, should match? This is telephone number here. Very good. It is, of course, the telephone. So again, cut the picture of the telephone and paste it on this box. The next one is an email address. So what kind of communication tool uses an email address? It is, of course, a computer set. Very good, kids. So you have to cut the computer set or picture of a computer set and paste it here. Now our last activity for today is on page 24. <clears throat> How do we properly send our messages? Yes, you can see we have here sets of pictures. So what we are going to do is write down the numbers 1, 2, and 3 in the <clears> box <throat> to arrange the events in sequence. Okay, let's do the first set of pictures first. Of course, if you are going to send a letter to someone else, the first thing that you are going to do is to write a letter. So in here, you have to write the number 1 <clears throat> in the box. After writing your letter, put it in an envelope and drop it in a mailbox. So in here, we can see the boy dropping his letter in a mailbox. You have to write number two in this box. The next thing that will happen will be this one. <clears throat> the receiver will now receive the letter that you have sent from the mailman. So in here, you have to write number three. So we have one, two, three. How about a telephone? How do we send a message through a telephone? Of course, the first thing that you are going to do is to dial the number. So in here, you have to put number one. After you have dialed the number, you have to wait for the phone to ring. Like this one. And if somebody will receive your call, you can start talking with that person. <clears throat> so in this box, you have to write number two. 
after talking to that person on the telephone, what you have to do is to put back the receiver. So just like this picture here. So in this box, you have to write number three. So we have one, two, three. For the last set of pictures, <clears throat> let's say you have a visitor coming inside or coming into your house. First, you have to hear that visitor knocking or ringing the bell, the doorbell. So as you can see here, the boy heard the doorbell ringing. So you have to put number one. And what should the boy do next? Of course, he has to let the visitor in, greet the visitor and let her sit down. So in here, you have to write number two. The next thing that will happen will be they will now start talking or communicating. So for this picture, you can write the number three on this box. So we have one, two, three. Okay. So that's it for your activities today. I hope you learned something from it. Congratulations, kids. You did a good job. Your activities are all well done. I hope that next time, you will again give your best shots. See you again next time.